Hi, this is State Representative J.T. Wilcox. I'm the House Republican leader down here in Olympia, and uh, we're finishing up the first week of the 2022 legislative session. This is only a 60-day session, so um, there's 60 days to do harm or there's 60 days to do good, and House Republicans would like it to be 60 days of doing the best possible things. And we have uh, probably one of the most aggressive agendas that I've been around before. First of all, we've heard loud and clear that people are really concerned about their economic uh, position. We are seeing inflation that uh, has not been present at this scale since I was a teenager back in the 1980s. And we've also seen a democratic majority that in the 12 years I've been down here has never failed to pass a multitude of bills that uh, although they're designed to do good things for some people, uh, inexorably increase the cost of living here in Washington. And it's beginning to catch up with all of us right now. Uh, we also feel very strongly that it's time to put an end to the mistaken long-term health care plan that uh, is really a tax on everybody that uh, is a wage earner in the state of Washington, uh, doesn't work in terms of the dollars involved and should be ended. Uh, Democrats have agreed to delay it until well after this coming November, but uh, we think that it should be either fully ended or replaced with a, a private sector plan that would be affordable and would be fair and voluntary. Uh, another major item is the disastrous public safety bills that were passed last year. Uh, the Democrats admit that they have a lot of work to do to make these uh, actually create safety for people instead of putting more people in danger. And I think there is doubt about whether they can pass those fixes themselves. Republicans are going to insist that they do. And uh, lastly, we have an emergency that has been going on for more than 700 days. And one of the big challenges right now is so many unbelievable things have happened that it's hard to convince people that uh, even worse things won't happen. And one of the ways that we create more confidence that people will have an impact on what's happening in their government is to pass emergency power reform so that the legislature is in place. We have a functioning uh, government of three different branches and the people will have a much larger voice than they have had over these last 700 days. Stay tuned, we're gonna be working hard and uh, you have done a great job, all of you in the public of letting us know what you're concerned about. Thank you.